I was recently delving into historical interactions between the Vikings and Slavs and came across an interesting yet largely overlooked character named Sviatoslava. Before I begin telling her story, I would like to apologise in advance for any pronunciation errors. I am neither Slavic nor Scandinavian, and there are various different spellings within my sources. And any mistakes made with regards to the tale itself, there is a fair amount of conflicting information, so I'll do my best. Born around 970 AD in Poznan, Poland, Sviatoslava Piast Mieszkowna was the daughter of Mieszko I, Duke of Poland and his wife Dubravka of Bohemia, an ancient kingdom which was once located in what is now known as the Czech Republic. Little is known about Sviatoslava's early years, but during adulthood she was actually quite famous for both her relationships and her fiery temperament. Slavic and Scandinavian relations had been very friendly for at least a few decades prior to the princess's birth, with some historians believing that her father's lineage may have featured some Norse blood, although of course this is practically impossible to prove. Some German historians also came up with a theory that Mieszko's name, meaning bear in Polish, may be linked to the Scandinavian name Bjerg, which has the same meaning. I'm not entirely sure how legitimate that theory is though. Some definitive proof of Norse Slav interaction exists within a document called the Dagom Index, the first known document relating to the country of Poland. Dagom is a Scandinavian name used within the document to address Mieszko I. But anyway, back to the main story. In 980 AD, Sviatoslava married King Eric of Sweden and bore his son Olaf Scott Kunung, who later followed in his father's footsteps by also becoming a king of Sweden. Sadly, Sviatoslava was widowed shortly afterwards. In around 994 AD, she remarried, this time to the infamous Viking King Svein Forkbeard of Denmark. She also appears to have changed her name temporarily to Gunhilda for the purpose of this marriage, although it's not clear why. During her time with Svein, she gave birth to five children, including Canute the Great and Harold II of Denmark. Unfortunately, for reasons unknown, her restless, explosive temperament perhaps, Sviatoslava became unhappy in her marriage to Svein. She returned to Poland, which was now under the rule of her brother, Bolesław the Brave, the first official Polish monarch. What Sviatoslava got up to during her time back in her homeland is unknown, but after her estranged husband's death, her sons Canute and Harold travelled there to retrieve her. Canute later went on to become king of England, Denmark and Norway, as well as governor of Schleswig and Pomerania. Harold also became a ruler of Denmark. Sviatoslava was said to have inherited her difficult character from her paternal aunt Adelaida, mother of St. Stephen the Great, the first king of Hungary. Adelaida was known as a beauty who drank excessively and loved to ride horses astride like a man. She was even rumoured to have murdered a man during one of her apparently frequent rages. So, one can really imagine the sort of character that her niece Sviatoslava possessed. Sviatoslava must have been somewhat renowned as she actually features in the Icelandic sagas. Before I recount the story described in Heimskringla, one of the sagas written by Snorri Sturluson, it is important to point out the following. Number one, the sagas were written centuries after the events described took place, so there are bound to be some inaccuracies. Number two, Sviatoslava was only identified as the real Sigrid the Haughty due to her correlations between hers and Sigrid's story. For example, they were both married to King Eric and Svein Forkbeard, both had a child named Olav, and both stories feature the name Gunhild. According to Wikipedia, Heimskringla describes Sigrid as the beautiful but vengeful daughter of Skogel Tosti, a powerful Swedish nobleman. As widow of Eric the Victorious, she held many great estates and was living with her son, Olaf the Swede, when her foster brother, Harald Grenske, king in Vestvold, sought her hand. She had him and another royal wooer, Visavald of Goderik, burned to death in a great hall following a feast to discourage other suitors. This episode earned her her byname. Her hand was next sought by Olaf Tryggvason, the king of Norway, but, she, but he would have required that she convert to Christianity. She told him to his face, I will not part from the faith which my forefathers have kept before me. In a rage, Olaf struck her with a glove and Sigrid calmly told him, the day, This may someday be thy death. 
Sigrid then proceeded to create a coalition of his enemies to bring about his downfall. She allied Sweden with Denmark, marrying the widower Svein Falkbeard, who had already been feuding with Olaf. Svein had sent for his sister Tiri to marry the Vendish king Burislav, who had been the father of Svein's first wife, Gunhild. Tiri fled and married Olaf, goading him into conflict with her brother, while Sigrid inflamed Svein against her former suitor. This shared animosity would lead to the Battle of Svold, in which Olaf fell. Snorri also claims that Estrid Svein's daughter was a paternal sister of Canute the Great, and as a daughter of Sigrid was maternal sister to Olaf the Swede, but in another place says that Estrid was a daughter of Gunhild of Venden. The Danish historian Saxo Grammaticus would repeat this information, writing that Eric the Victorious' widow, Siritha, had married Svein Falkbeard after having spurned Olaf Tryggvason. One further point that has been cited in favour of Sigrid's historical existence is that is the holdings of the Danish kings in medieval Sweden were known as Sigridsleif, the legacy of Sigrid. Note, Vendish, denoting someone who hailed from the lands occupied by the Vens, or people who historically populated Western Slavic lands. Borislav was given the pan-Scandinavian title of King of the Vens, meaning that he had sovereignty, lordship or claims over Vendish lands. Vens would have inhabited areas of Poland where Sviatoslava was born. Borislav sounds like he could have been Bolislav, her brother. According to legend, there was a Polish princess called Gunhild of Venden, who was also wife of Svein Falkbeard. Apparently, Miesko was a pagan until his wife Dubravka made him convert to Christianity so that they could marry. Obviously, this could tie in with the conversion part of the saga. Coincidence? I personally think not. Despite many obvious inaccuracies, there are plenty of details in Heimskringla which could easily be describing Sviatoslava. I definitely believe that she was an inspiration for the character of Sigrid the Haughty, although of course many people could have been mixed into this legend. It seems that Sviatoslava died in 1126, making her extremely old compared to the average lifespan, ex lifespan of 40 at the time. She was married to her third husband, Vratislav II of Bohemia, and thus the first queen of Bohemia, until she was widowed in 1092. Although we know so little about the mysterious Slavic Viking princess, her bloodline lives on in notable living descendants, including the British royal family. She sounds exactly like the kind of woman shield maiden legend stemmed from.